Welcome to Cars in Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Gia Cars. I have the G80 facelift, including G80 Sports. As you can see, the grille is different. So it's not that dark or chrome bling bling bronze color that we saw on a G70 Sport package, which was my personal favorite. It's a different color. It's a little more subtle, I would say. However, it still fits the G80 Sport just so beautifully. Look at that. So the color, the design, Design, you might be thinking it's not all that different. It is subtle, yes, I'll give you that. However, Genesis is constantly changing and upgrading their design, theme, color, language inside out. And that is also abundantly found on G80 Sports as well. And that is the good old five spoke wheel that we have seen on previous Genesis cars on Sport Package. I love that G Matrix pattern, the theme implied on the spokes as well. The five spoke wheel that just never gets old. My personal favorite. It's a classic. However, they have nice Genesis language inputted and it is also a staggered setup meaning different wheel sizes and tires. On the front is the 245 40 20 and on the rear is the 275 35 20. It's actually wrapped around in Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. So it is the PS4S. For your information, this is the upgraded tire from the PSS Michelin Pilot Super Sports. So I've used that tire. I've also used this tire. I've also used the PS4. That tire actually is a track capable tire. If you're going to rip the tarmac off, of course uh, you'll use different tire. Takeaway here is that it is a very sport oriented tires. Honestly, I can't really wait to test drive this car, especially with this tire slapped around. And I already know that this is going to work beautifully with the Genesis. So it's not just the same PS4S that you would find on the market, but that that GOE right there means that it's been specially, specifically designed and built for this G80 Sports. And so that was the description I was actually looking for. It's called 20 inch dark sputtering sport exclusive wheels. So fancy name for the wheels. So that is the only wheel that actually survived from a pre facelift. I actually do like that wheel a lot. What are your thoughts about it? So except for that wheel, all the other three wheels are brand new on this facelift. And I've seen that wheel. I will go look for that wheel too. They kind of share a lot of design language, except that it has like a diamond cutting. Oh yes, it even says right here, diamond cutting wheels. So diamond cut surface. So it really gives that elegant look on the surface. And since it's up on the display, I'm gonna touch them. So it's all soft. You can actually touch it with your bare finger, no problem. So now that I am looking at it for a few seconds, they look quite different. They're gonna look very different depending on the exterior colors too. The details about the exterior colors, I actually have covered the real world color on the door panels at Genesis Studio Suji. So I'll include that footage at the end of the video. So feel free to pause the video and check it out. See for yourself what it looks like. So this is the rear design of the G80 Sport. And we can see the bottom part, the diffuser part that wraps around the rear of the car is different from that of the G80 Sport versus the G80 right over there. G80 wants to hide the muffler, kind of a bridging, the gap between the era of the internal combustion engine to that of the electrifications. When it comes to the G80 Sport, the exhaust is all exposed. It's both of them are real dual exhaust tips. Funny I am pointing that out now, but nowadays you actually do have to take a closer look to see if they are fake or not. Again, G80 Sport, it's all legit, real exhaust, if you will. Just look at the wheels and tires too. I mean, it, the wheels and tires are just as important for the look of the car, overall impression of the vehicle. What do you think? I absolutely love that staggered wheel pattern. And I also know just looking at the tire treads pattern right there, that's a Michelin PS4S. So it wraps around just like that, gets continued all over underneath and gets finished on the other side, just like so. The guided rear lamp that is going to turn on and going to diverge like that, alerting the pedestrians that the car is going to reverse. We've seen that on early Genesis as well. That's now implemented on other Hyundai cars too. Not going to differ, but I wanna show you the interior too. So it's the look mostly and also the performance, but the interior is not all that much different from the other G80, a regular sedan, if you will. It is the same thing, you get the ski through, as you saw, right over there. Interior, 
Wow, just check this out. It's got a beautiful white interior and Napa leather, of course, all quilted patterns and seats. So the interior isn't much different from a regular sedan, as you saw. However, when it comes to the performance, that's where all the differences are made. And I will show you up close detailed look review of the interior and the drive in my future video to come when i test drive the car stay tuned for that look at this design patterns too it's the same thing the carbon has been used all throughout the vehicle the carbon and performance sports all goes well together especially in a car right they're almost like an identical word don't you think even the brake pedals and accelerator just look at that would have been nice if the footrest also was in the same pattern but i'm pretty sure there's a reason behind it so let's check and see what's underneath the hood but it's essentially the same thing so gas left i mean not have to point that out when it comes to genesis but everything is just well covered i love that v brace so it's not actually identical or symmetrical it's quite at an angle because it's not a 50 50 proportion left and right when it comes to the vehicle right it's been the same with the preface lift as well the turbo all of the engine spec i will be including in the footage the video right now i just wanted to show you what it looks like underneath the hood paying attention to fine detail is all about about the luxury and luxury sprints. There is also a rubber stop in order to stop the air coming into the engine bay and also the sound going out. As you can see, there is a sound absorbers on the bonnet, the hood. So that's it, going over side-by-side -side comparison of G80 Sport Package as well as the G80 facelift. I will tell you all about this car on my next test drive video. It's all about the ride, the drive. I will tell you all about the suspension, the bushings, the stabilizers, as well as the rear wheel steering wheel system. If I get the G80 sports package. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe Cars in Korea. I will see you in the next video. Kudos to Genesis, look at that. They are absolutely just killing it. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.